hi friends welcome to VFX pipeline and in this video I will show you how you can install Django and Django rest API framework in Windows right now I'm using Python 3 but uh, it's better if you can use Python 3 if you're using Django and if you're using Python 2 then also it's not an issue you can follow the same okay so in my desktop I just created a folder called Python rest and uh, let's just open command window here and here it is my command window so just check that uh, you have python installed so just type python and then you will see uh, the python console will be there right now this is python 3.6.8 so we are good let exit this and one more thing let's say try import django and it's saying that there is no module named django because we need to install django through pip okay i will show you how to do that let's exit this console now perfect now first thing we need to create a virtual environment because i don't want to install django in my main python location i mean main python site packages i don't want to put this django there because there might be some version which might be conflict so if you don't know what is a virtual environment of python you can just check out my previous video which i created on this topic now let's just create a virtual environment okay python m v e n v v e n v so with that a virtual environment folder will be created here and uh, some base library will be copy okay yes our virtual environment folder is ready now good let's go to the script and uh, you see here activate let's just drag and drop inside your console and hit enter oh. okay so once you hit enter you might see this uh, you you should see this like venv in the start of your command prompt okay so then you are in your virtual environment now let's just see uh, install our django so pip install django and this will install django it's depend on your internet because it's download from uh, internet and also here you can see in their website django if you go to django django project dot uh, django project dot com and here you can see the, the latest version is 2.24 and we are going to use the latest version and if you go to the download it will show you that you can install through pip install django we will also use django rest framework and this rest framework if you go there and uh, installation here you can see django pip install django rest framework so both command you can find in the uh, description of this video we are done with our uh, django installation let's just install our django rest framework okay and let's see this is 3.10.2 and let's compare this with our version which we have uh, i think this will be the latest one so no issue uh, we can just follow along with that so now let's just go to our main root folder here here we have a virtual environment folder so libraries we already installed now we need to start a django project okay let's just close this console open it again through a command window perfect and uh, go back to the script again and activate the script okay so make sure you are in your virtual environment and then you have to say django admin and then you need to say create project and then when you say uh, sorry it should be a start project and we need to provide the project name also start because we, we want to start a project right so start 
project and uh, also we need to give the name of that project so that will be our employee just just use employees hit enter so what you see that there is a employee folder created here if you go inside there is one file manage.py and there is another employee file here okay so what that is i will show you uh, wait a minute let's just first quickly see that is start uh, this uh, django server so how we can start this django server first of all you should be in the environment here and uh, let me do one thing just to make sure we are oh sorry let's just copy this and uh, move back to our this directory right okay now looks better so now uh, we have a python rest folder and inside there we have uh, employee and manage.py and also our virtual environment let's just go back to python activate our virtual environment and now what we have to do we need to start our server to start our server what we have to do is python manage.py which is uh, this file here you can see there is a manage.py file and here you can say run server then your django server will be start at this address so now you can go to your web page and uh, open this url 127.08000 and you will see this page which is congratulations your django is installed correctly right so yeah i mean that this is simple which is like you just need to install django and after that you need to uh, start a project and once you start a project then run a server and once you run a server you will see django is successfully working right but this is just bare django there's nothing there and we will create more stuff inside this like adding more uh, databases and uh, rest api things in my next video so that's it for this video i hope you understand how to install and run django server okay i will see you in my next video